Some of you who know me know I have a favorite saying. It's a Latin proverb. Adentes fortuna uat. It's fortune favors the bold. I love this saying. For me, it encapsulates a philosophy that life should be filled with adventures. And that one of the keys to happiness is consistently taking on some new challenges. Getting out of your comfort zone. It will inevitably scare you, but it'll make you stronger. And make your life richer in so many different ways. I don't think I need to tell the two of you that you're embarking together on one of life's great adventures. We're truly thrilled and delighted that you are all here to mark this exciting and eventful moment for our family. Tonight and throughout this weekend, we gather to celebrate the joyous love and wonderful bond that has developed and will continue to grow between our son Timothy and David and Sosenka's beautiful daughter, Brooke. Brooke told me when she was four that she was going to get married on Nantucket. And I said, well, that's ambitious. <laughs> Anybody I know? Um, but here we are, and it's just wonderful to have everyone here. I've been coming every year since before I was born. My dad's been coming for about 40 years. This is my brother Max and I. Um, this is my first summer on Nantucket. All right, I think yes. um, a game is, is beginning. Timothy, my beloved son, and Brooke, the beautiful Brooke, we are so proud of our children, and especially tonight, our son Timothy. But I look around at this room, and I see so many of the people who helped to make you the wonderful people that you are, that we love so much. One morning, Brooke made a small decision to meet Carrie Brown and friends for breakfast, a decision she's made many times. That small decision led to the beginning of Brooke and Tim and the first steps to ACK Anderson. Katie and I watched Brooke and Tim meet, and we watched Brooke's happiness ignite, and it just the gleam burned brighter and brighter as you two got to know each other. I can honestly say that after two to three dates with confidence, I said they were going to get married. I think it freaked some of our friends out because it hadn't even been a month since I started dating, but it's the type of thing when you know you know, and the amount of support and love you give one another is just, it's palpable. The first time I heard about Brooke before, I. I just the, 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 the beaming confidence that came out of Tim was something that I had never seen before. And when I met Brooke, it, it all made sense. Since then, we've had the joy to watch them grow together as a couple, taking weekend trips to Nantucket, jet setting to Paris, Italy, or just staying in their Upper East Side apartment, cooking gourmet meals and drinking French 75s. From the beginning, it was easy to see that you were a perfect fit. From the big things to the little things, they all just make sense. Tim, you are the exact man I always knew Brooke and Mary. She's always had so much love to give, and seeing the way that you adore her right back is absolute magic. Your relationship is everything a girl could want for her best friend. Tim and Brooke are deeply in love. We have watched their relationship build to this very exciting moment, and we are happy to stand by Tim's side. <laughs> wow. 
Here we go. No, 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 it's good. It's, good. <laughs> it's all good. And we are happy to stand by Tim's side as witness and to help support their joyful adventure in their lives together. It's no secret that uh, fathers have a soft spot for their daughters. So when she first told me about this guy named Tim, I thought, hmm. And then we went for a really nice walk along the harbor about two years ago. And she told me, she said, Dad, I think this is the guy. And he's just so wonderful and so nice. And I said, hmm. But Tim has turned out to be just an absolutely wonderful guy. He is calm and kind and generous and thoughtful. But the best thing about Tim is that he makes our daughter so happy. Brooke's always had an electric smile, but when she's with Tim, it just really takes over. I, Tim, take you, Brooke, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, and to share with you all that is to come. I promise to respect and honor you as your loving husband, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sadness, in sickness and in health. Whatever our future holds, I will love you and stand by you. To this I pledge myself, truly, with all of my heart. I, Brooke, take you, Tim, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, and to share with you all that is to come. I promise to respect and honor you as your loving wife, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sadness, in sickness and in health. Whatever our future holds, I will love you and stand by you. To this I pledge myself truly with all my heart. Let us go in peace and serve God with gladness. You may now kiss the bride. It is now our distinct honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Anderson. There really is no better feeling than watching someone close to you find their match and become an even better version of themselves. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you too, but I know it involves lots of travel, French and Italian food, wine, and lots of fun with us on the Upper East Side. I have such remarkable respect and adoration for both of you. You do such a terrific job of balancing each other, pushing each other, encouraging and supporting. And it's just been an absolute joy to get to know you as a couple. Brookie, you know you are the love of my life, my little angel, just like your brother Max and your dad. And I couldn't be happier and prouder and more excited because I think you guys are such a good match.
them, you make my daughter so happy. And have since the beginning. I remember the day she called me and said, I have a boyfriend. And she, she liked him as a little bit traditional and was always waiting for a boy who would actually call her and ask her on a date which Tim accomplished most beautifully. Being a daughter, you just want the best thing for them and hope that someday they will have an evening like tonight. It is my hope tonight that we will celebrate this event so thoroughly that we could create a raucous and joyful event that just might bring the roof down. Caring and thoughtfulness are the centers of both of your personalities. Thinking of others before yourself defines who you are. So I stand here with your family and friends, thrilled that you found each other. Life's adventures are best tackled in a team. You guys are an awesome team, and we're all so excited to let the adventures begin.